Hi y'all, I just wanted to do a few unboxing of some things that I've received this week and thought I'd just share. And the, the first, first package I'm going to open is actually from Lorraine. Lorraine has a YouTube channel and she does nail review, nail polish reviews. And I commented on her page that the nail polish Cynthia by Julep was really pretty on her and I just like oh that's a beautiful color and she said well let me check to see if I have a dupe and she had a dupe in the Cynthia so she was kind enough to send that to me but she also sent some other fingernail polish and I've been really trying to work on doing my nails and I was short I got a few of them done but that's not a gang sign I had a problem with one of my other fingers so I didn't want to show you that but I've been really working on my nails keeping them together and just just being a girly girl but let me open up her package because I was so excited because it's here today and and I'll link Lorraine's channel down below I know a lot of people are into nails and beauty and clothes are the polishes we discuss I hope you enjoy them and I cannot wait to see what nail looks you create with them. Rain. P.S. It has been truly wonderful chatting with you. But she nicely wrapped this. This is the note she sent me. Thanks, Rain. <laughs> and I'm gonna get in here. Open this. Is this Cynthia? Oh yeah, this is Cynthia. Oh, look at that. So hopefully I can show you this and my camera will look at it. That's Julep. Oh, that's pretty. Look at this is Jane. This is the owner of Julep. So this is her color. There it is. And here's another color. This is Nelly. Nelly and it's a beautiful fuchsia color. Faye. Faye. My cousin's name is Faith. And when she was little we used to call her Faye Faye. There. And then this color. This color is Elena. And it's a pretty, I call this like a silver color. And I could pair these two together. Those two, that would be pretty. Thank you again, Lorraine. I appreciate you extending such kindness to me. Um, I was really surprised and thank you. Thank you. For my book lovers, my book lovers, my book lovers. Mm. It says Nook, it's not a Nook, but it's from Barnes and Noble. I know what this is, but I just want to share it with you all. I got it! S by J.J. Abrams. I love how this book looks. And on Amazon, it was out of stock for Christmas. Then on Barnes & Noble, I uh, didn't want to buy it from the store. I finally ordered it. It was on temporary back order. And I did, I ordered this one and I actually ordered two of them. Kind of greedy. They were on back order, so I just went on and ordered two. I don't know why. It's not like I got money like that, but I did. Hi, I wanted you to see the unboxing of S by J.J. Abrams and Doug Dorse. And I just felt that uh, you need to see of all the nice things that are in this book. It's actually a book within the book. And I think that's what makes this book so amazing. I'm trying to open this without um, damaging it. So I'm being very careful. So here it is, Ship of Theseus by V.M. Straka. 
and it just has this old feel to it like an old library so it's just very unusual then when you open the book it says book for loan so which really makes it feel like a library book because it's on loan to you and you just start opening up the pages see how it looks worn the pages look worn and then you have these different outlines and memos in there and handwritten uh, notes it just feels like I'm going on the adventure and um, the only thing I wish is that the seal was raised. It wasn't raised and that's why I felt over because I was just really hoping that. So that was the only thing that didn't feel uh, like really tangible. But I just really enjoy seeing the extra information like confidentiality. Just really nice to see those kind of elements within the book and then other pages coming at you. So I guess when you're reading this book, you need to be very careful that you don't lose any of the items. So I do like having the extra book. So if I misplace something or loan this book out, I know where everything goes. So you have a telegram, which is really a nice addition to the book to have these telegrams and different things in here. And then as I was going through the book, um, you have these two people uh, that are going through this book. And here is a postcard from Brazil. It looks very nice and authentic. And then you have the stamp from the post office and how they just got rid of the address and more another postcard from Brazil. So I just feel like I'm, I'm going on an adventure. So that's actually a stationary postcard with other information included and there's a napkin with directions it's like a city and some directions so this book is very interesting and there is a letter and i believe that letter is from a university and a compass and the stamping i do so called remember that in elementary when they used to stamp the books from when you needed to return them so i just want to share with you how this book looks and I'm very excited about reading it and exploring and I feel like I'll be de a detective. I am excited about this one. I'm really excited about this one. I plan on working out so I need a nice gym bag in order to work out. No I didn't but um, I wanted an ordered one. I knew nothing about this designer a uh, person but my my friend she sent me this picture of a bag and it was Vera Bradley and I was like okay that's cute but I didn't know anything about Vera ba Bradley then I got a um an email and they were like Vera Bradley bags on special and I'm like okay I know what a Vera ba Bradley bag is now so this is my Vera Bradley bag Vera Bradley I hope you can see that. I guess it'll focus. And this is the pattern that I got. And it's a nice bag. See? But I'm gonna be carrying my workout clothes in here to, to work. And the thing about Vera Bradley bags, when I was reading about them, they said that they're very durable. They last a long time and just very well made. Inside, nothing special. The inside of the bag. So, strap. But I got my bag. And I need to use it. I just really want you all to get to know me. Not just the books that I read, but also, because I haven't been reading as many, but I'm, I'm getting there. Um, and just, just a little bit more of me. Because I really like seeing my YouTube people do um, tags and more tags about themselves and just giving me a little insight of you because I really feel that we're friends. We know each other. We share things. So I just want to share just a little bit more of, of me and what's going on in my life.
Thanks for watching. Take care. And I'll edit this and get this out very soon. <laughs> I'm still learning how to use this new 2013 iMovies. I got a learning curve. I got a true learning curve. So thanks again. Love you all. Bye.